we're going to walk you guys through the new Yak Power System. You may have seen that the Yak Power System is available on the Ascend 128T Kayak. You can also get all of those components and additional accessories that are available for any boat that you can install. Chris Payne Kayak Bass Fishing Magazine, kayakfishingblog.com. We're going to walk you guys through the new Yak Power System. You may have seen that the Yak Power System is available on the Ascend 128T Kayak. You can also get all of those components and additional accessories that are available for any boat that you can install. So what we're going to do today is look at some of those accessories and the parts and pieces. Now, the great thing about the Yak Power System is it can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. So what do I mean by that? Well, there's a couple of different options that you have to go with. If you just want one simple switch, a switch that'll turn on lights, or a switch that will power a fish finder, something like that, they've got that single switch, on, off, just an easy toggle switch. If you want multiple, ports available so to switch between well this this unit has five so this is their switcher uh, box that has five different uh, ports that you can choose from you can see those are all connected up through here um, you can go as complex as this in addition to this there's also a remote control that's available if you have to install this in the front of a kayak or the back of a kayak because of ease of accessibility to under deck uh, for wiring and that kind of stuff you can run this and just power it on and then you run it off the remote and that remote plugs into the controller here a lot of different ways that you can go with that let me walk you through the five port controller box I'm not sure how well you can see it but uh, let me let me come closer to you you'll see that you've got one two a B an M and an S so that is bow midships and stern um, that basically means the front of the boat, the middle of the boat, or the back of the boat for you guys that are new to kayaking or new to boating. And then number one and number two are open and you can plug whatever you want into it. All of these, so you've got a B, an M, an S, a one, and a two. So whatever you want to correspond to that button, you plug into this port here. Now all of this stays under your deck and this mounts into the side of your kayak uh, the top of your kayak, wherever you, wherever you want to mount this controller box so that you've got access to it. And so what can you plug into these? Well, let's check it out. One of the things that you can do is you can install these ports. So this is just an SAE uh, male-female plug. A lot of times guys will run 360 lights off the back of the kayak. They'll run uh, their fish finders. They'll power off of one of these. Lots, lots of different options that you can power off of these SAE plugs. Now let's say you are hooking up a fish finder. Well, the power ends of a fish finder don't come with the SAE plug uh, that'll fit this. So you've got to connect something to the end of that that'll plug into this if you're going to be using this. And that would be this guy right here. Now the cool thing about these is they are going to have the butt connectors. They are going to have the shrink tubing and the SAE connector in here. So you attach this to your fish finder and you can use the butt connectors there and heat shrink it, forms a good seal, and then you plug this into this port wherever you mount it. And then the end of this right there plugs into that switcher box or if you're just running one, plugs into the single switch. Now, you've got to power this thing. So how do we power it? This is another very cool thing. So a lot of guys struggle with building an inline fuse and spade connectors and doing all of that work. Well, Yak Power's actually got you covered on that. So you've got an inline fuse, 
on the positive. You've got the connectors right there that'll plug into those uh, spade ends on a deer feeder battery, typically 7.5 amp hour, 8 amp hour uh, deer feeder battery, 12 volt. And then this just plugs in line to the switch and you're good to go. Now, if you're using the big switcher box, it's actually labeled for power. It's a red plug instead of a black plug, so you can see the difference there. This is your power. Now, the question has already been raised. This thing says, do not use more than a, a 15 amp load fuse. That is correct. If you're running an inline fuse, you're gonna wanna look at what your item is rated for. If it's a one amp, two amp, three amp, run that fuse on that line. If you are going to be uh, using something that's got a heavier draw, a bigger unit or something like that, look at that. Just do not put more than a 15 amp fuse in line with this. Now, in addition to the inline battery power and switches and that kind of stuff, you can get little things like this. This is basically a splitter. This is SAE plug splitter. If you wanted to run multiple things into, let's say you're running lights front and back and you wanted to plug them in here and then run this to your power, you could do that. That way they're all on one switch. And that would basically be something like that. Now, speaking of lights, Yak Power also makes lights. They've got a light configuration that's a little bit different. The typical models that are out there, you drill a hole inside your kayak and you feed the line through, which you're still gonna do. And then you goop it up really nice and hope that everything uh, stays in place and you lick your finger and you're forming it and getting all that right and, and hopefully it sticks. Well, Yak Power has come up with a little bit different system for their lights that will help them stay seated. There are instructions uh, that come with the Yak Power lights, but this is the receptacle. So this is actually going to mount into your boat. So if this is your boat pole, it's going to mount right like that and it screws down. So you drill a small hole, you put that in there, you screw it down and it's got, you see that it's got an Allen head on it. And so the kit is going to come with an Allen wrench and you're going to tighten that down and it's going to bite into that plastic and seal it. Now, do you want to put a little goop on there? Sure. might not be a bad idea, but with the, with the O-ring on the back, the tight seal and the bite and grip of the stainless steel, I think it's going to hold just fine, but just to be careful, sure, put a little bit of silicone on the back side of that. And so you tighten that in. Okay, well, now I've got a hex nut on the outside of my kayak. How does that get me light? Oh, so here's the light strip. Uh, this has the 3M backing tape on it. It's uh, pretty thick, fit and finished, if you see that. Should be protected from crush injuries for the most part. And then it's got a 3.5 millimeter connector. And what happens is, so this is the, in the side of the boat, and you take this and it goes just like that and snaps into place on the side of your boat. It does have a place where you can add a screw uh, on the end if you wanna do that, but with the 3M tape uh, on the back of it, a little bit of adhesive, uh, promoter possibly, just plugging that in right there is gonna hold that booger in place. But 3.5 mil, and that just plugs into that receptacle, boom, right like that. And then, so you've got this, and it's in the side of your boat, and you just feed all this cord through the side of your boat, and then it plugs into, basically, one of these splitters here. So this has got, uh, a couple of connections on the end of it and then SAE. So the SAE would plug into say number one on your switcher box and you're gonna plug that little doodad in right like that and then anytime you hit number one on your remote control or on your control box here that's gonna turn those on and off. Pretty cool plug and play setup. If you're having to cut a bunch of wires or do a bunch of soldering, probably doing something wrong. Uh, these come in tons of different lengths. You can get these power connectors and things in some different lengths. So really a plug and play system as much as we've seen with an electrical system. If you've got a boat other than the Yak Power 128T, 
and you want to add these power options to it, I'll be adding uh, some of these options to the new canoe here in a little while and videoing that for you. If you want to add those, those are going to be available in Bass Pro Shops in March. So coming up here pretty quick, probably in the next 45 days, possibly less. There's one other cool accessory that I didn't know was going to hit the market this quick, but it is ready, and that is the Yak Power battery box. You've probably seen some battery boxes similar to this, but not quite like this. This box is made where you can store three deer feeder batteries in a row. The 7.5 amp hour, you can store those bam, bam, bam. You can, and then those run in a circuit. So they each have their own plug. So you plug those in and then the current can draw from it. You could have, oh, 22 and a half. Is that right? Yep. So, yep, 22 and a half uh, amp hours of power. You're running a fish finder and lights and a 360 light and maybe a uh, like a speaker, like a Bluetooth speaker or something like that, you can power those off of here. And how many of you guys have been fishing tournaments and your phone, you're taking pictures or running music and that kind of stuff and your phone starts to die? Well, this box actually has a couple of USB plugs in it as well. And here's the other cool thing. You could actually, uh, if you're not using the waterproof housing on a GoPro or something like that, you could actually power your GoPro as long as you've got power in here off of this USB port. You've got an SAE plug that plugs in right here that you can plug into a trickle charger so you don't have to take each one of these batteries out and charge them if they're already plugged in. You just connect your SAE connection, bam, right there that goes to your trickle charger and you're charging without having to remove these batteries every time. So uh, those, are, those are all pretty cool. You've got an on-off switch as well uh, to power these externals here. Check that out at the Yak Power uh, display in Bass Pro Shops coming up this spring. Should be sometime mid-March, possibly earlier.